Well, good morning to you beautiful and lovely people. How are you guys on this foggy morning? Yeah, it's kind of rare I get to tell you guys good morning. Usually there's nothing good about mornings, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I hope he's even a little concerned. I woke up this morning, come downstairs out of bed, went up into the captain's chair, and he was looking at me like, uh, so what's your plan there, daddy? Why are you up in that seat already? It's a little too early for this stuff. I said, Opie, we have places to be. It's time to head her for home. Well, right now we are in Kenley, North Carolina. It's exit 106 off of Interstate 95. And I gotta tell you, this, uh, this pull-off, or it's not pull-off, this whole area is kind of cool. It has your it has a blue beacon at it. It has uh, a Walcott, Iowa, Interstate a Iowa 80 Junior Chrome Shop. It's got a Iowa 80, I don't know what they call it, <laughs> Iowa 80 car wash, truck wash. A lot of Iowa here. Maybe that's why I stopped here. But yeah, like I said, Kenley, North Carolina. And uh, I forgot where we're going. Eddington. We're heading for Eddington. North Carolina where we are going to grab a reload that takes us back up to Lamar's, Iowa. If you've been following along this week, we've been kind of down in the dumps, a little gloomy, a little doomy, but I got to tell you, I think I'm done with that. I think we're done with that. You know, it's it's a great world. It's a great place to be. Right now, we're just going to go get our reload and we got some trucking to do. We have some serious trucking to do. Uh, tater Top, my daughter's having a dance competition on Saturday gonna be there for it so we got some trucking to do Still don't know what we're gonna haul. When we go in there to check in, uh, right now there's a few people in line. When we go in to check in, I will uh, see what we're gonna haul. Beautiful drive, man, just a beautiful drive. We took Interstate, you know, Highway 64 and Highway 17 over here in North Carolina. Man, that was just an awesome drive. Just beautiful. Well, gotta be back with you here in a minute. Looks like they're ready for us.
past couple days I've been kind of into dumps, but I kind of needed this to make myself feel better and I make make everything feel all right because I tell you what I Got to think about it like this Western small town small town guy from Western Iowa realistically would I ever if I wasn't in the industry I'm in would I ever go to uh, I mean I'm not for sure or I have to jump onto the map or maybe I can put a picture up right here while we're talking but would I ever be this close to the ocean I mean actually I've taken my kids to the ocean not on this run but on a separate run but you know we're we can't be too far from Virginia Beach so it's just a great industry. I need to get back into that attitude, which I always knew it was. I just needed to get out of that funk a little bit. I think we're out of it though, I really do. Really nice place. As for what we're hauling, I forgot to ask. I gave him, you know, I gave him my numbers and everything. He told me to back into this dock. It's just a, a loose, loose dock, you know, there's no big doors or nothing. He told me to back in here and guys, I didn't even, uh, forgot to ask I will know before we leave what we are hauling in the trailer I do promise I think hope he's about done here let him run around then we're gonna yeah let's go well I didn't think this was going to be a refrigerated load and it turns out it is what we're hauling guys is peanuts a lot of peanuts this is a lot of peanuts Nice. I don't think you'd like to haul this load though if you were allergic to peanuts though that probably wouldn't be a, a way to go. Well we are hefty. I can feel it, yeah. We are hefty, but we're not too hefty. Right now we're pushing uh, 39,900 pounds of peanuts. I guess this really wouldn't be a place to be if you had an allergy, right? Well, I hate to tell you, Buttercup, but I think I might move you. Let's see here. If I can swing this, I'll leave you there, but might have to move you because I'm not dropping my trailer in a ditch. Ooh, we're cutting her close. Are we going to be close? Or should we should take it. We're good. Okay. What I tell you? I think I told you. Yeah, 39,900 pounds of peanuts. Uh, the route today we are going to take is uh, we're going to take the same way we came in. We're going to take it. Highway 17 to Highway 64, and then uh, we're gonna jump up. I don't think we get back on 95 though, but I do think we are going to jump on to Interstate 40 for a little bit. And I, after talking with my weatherman, you know my weatherman, my dad, I think it'd probably be best if we would take the same route home as we took down here because You gotta watch that trailer tire. They don't give have forgiving shoulders here. But if we take the same route home, we should stay north of some storms. I don't know. When I looked at the radar, I didn't see a whole lot of storms left. Oh no, I shouldn't have done this. I asked them if I could use their scale. They said yes, but oh my goodness, that's a muddy scale. Alright. Well, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of storms left out there, but there still is storms. Like rolling across Missouri, it's snowing. Did I see that right? Snow in Missouri. This actually kind of looks 11, 12, 8, oh. 47. We're gonna fit. Can we fit on the scale? Yes, we can. Let's 
79,300 pounds. Nice. All right, all the axles look good. We're ready to roll. Let's see if we can get out of here again. So yeah, we're gonna take the same way home. Uh, Interstate 77 up to Interstate 64. That Highway 35 that we took the other day, I'm gonna take that again. Work our way up to Interstate 70. Bounce. You know what? We're not even gonna try that. I'm sure this place isn't always like this, how tight it is, but uh, it looks like they're expanding. It just looks like they're expanding their business, so they're remodeling. All right, let's see what my options here are. I should never have done this. Should never have done that. That was a foolish move, Kurt. First class, I need you to feel skinny. Feel short. There you go. First class, I need you to feel short. You can do that, right? Don't hit any cars. A bunch of cars are behind us and to the right of us if this camera didn't catch it, guys. And then uh, that truck, that bonehead, sitting out, out there on the road. Big sign says, don't block the driveway. Hey, you blocking the driveway. Part of it. Now watch our corners again. There you go. Woo! Now we are wide open. That place was really nice. They were really polite. Um, they loaded me relatively, I mean, your, your average, you know, your average normal load time. Everything went good there. I like that place. It was just a little tight. And that's just because of construction. I'm almost positive of it. Yeah, I knew it was going to rain before it rained on me. Are you curious? That's right. Personal weatherman back home, my dad. And yes, my dad, my mom, Troy, Paige, 
and Warden, they all track me still. That fancy, what's it called, uh, Life 360 on, uh, on your phone. They can track you. Yeah, and yes, they all still track me. Buddy, he starts tracking me when it gets towards the end of the week. Because when I tell him I'm going to be home, he will, he will text me, hey dad, I thought you said you were going to be home on this day. You're still so many miles out. I tell him, I'll be home, son. Don't worry, I'll be home. But yeah, I knew it was going to rain first. Right now, we're just letting first class sit there and run with uh, with her fan on, trying to dry things out, wire looms and stuff underneath the hood. Because it poured, whew, it poured hard for a little bit. There's not really a town around here, is there? It's Mount something. Anywho. But we are on 77 now. Now we're going to run into some pretty territory. Or in other words, first class is going to get a good little workout.
it might be sprinkling out. Just to let you know if anyone was worried. I think I've told you guys before how Opie does not like going to the bathroom on side angles. He likes going to the bathroom on perfectly level ground. He doesn't get a choice tonight. We got to do the whole on-ramp parking because let's face it, we're not going to even come close to finding even remotely a parking spot. Where'd you go? I see ya. He hates it. He hates angles. Man, that was a good solid day of trucking. Everything went smooth. Ran into a few little rough roads, but nothing bad. I mean, not, well, yeah, they were bad, but not horrible. Another solid day in tomorrow. We're going to be good to make it back for Tater Tot's little dance. It's not a dance recital, it's a dance competition. It's actually a couple hours from, a couple hours away from home, and uh, we're going to do the whole hotel thing. That'll be nice for the kids. So we'll get home jump in the car and leave again. I think I told you guys earlier in the week though, I hadn't planned on sleeping in my own bed much this weekend. You know, you guys have told me that you guys, uh, a few of you have told me you guys will run 60, or yeah, 64 and 77 in uh, winter. When the roads are bad and snowy. I don't know, more, <laughs> my hats are off to you. We ran into all that, all that rain and man did it rain my eyes feel like they're bleeding just from running that highway in the rain then when it did stop raining and we pushed through it up on 35 whew, she cooled down a lot it's not snowing though it's not snowing and it's not freezing cold rain's always better than snow things are looking up they really are while they are looking up and while i'm on a positive note we're just going to go ahead and end it you guys keep yourself safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Oh, that's it. That's it. The Schneider passed me. I'm done for. Oh, my poor truck. <laughs>